As we are aware, he he is still being detained in Puerto Barros in Guatemala. The the case was scheduled for um, today, Wednesday, the tenth tenth um, of April. Um, we have not yet received the outcome of, of that case. So as soon as we we, we find out exactly what occurred, um, then we'll be able to um, better understand exactly what direction we, we take from here. Um, the status, uh, as is right now, is, is absent. Um, uh, we have our internal disciplinary mechanism that will take take its toll um, as it relates to any absentee. Um, in addition to that, there are, there are more infractions as it relates to the disciplinary code of conduct uh, in which he's, he's obviously in, in violation of that, that will um, will come to play as well. Indeed, we are very embarrassed about the situation. It's, it's a member of the Belize Coast Guard, um, and the, the infraction committed by himself is, is an international um, uh, um, violation. Um, weapons and ammunition is something um, that, that we, the, the Coast Guard is involved with enforcing um, those illegal weapons and firearms. So for a member of the Coast Guard to be involved with, um, with such incidents um, definitely is a black eye for us. Um, we, we will treat the, the incident um, with the level of diligence that, that it deserves in, in terms of um, proper investigation and, and, and to see exactly what um, what the outcome would be based on the, the criminal aspect coming out of Guatemala. However, it has already, as you mentioned, brought the Coast Guard into this dispute. Um, so we will all, uh, also look at some of those um, possible breach of discipline that has transpired because of that incident.